cyber attacks are frequently making headlines in today's digital environment. At any time, everyone who uses a computer could become a victim of a cyber attack. There are various sorts of cyber attacks ranging from phishing to password attacks. In this video, we will look into one such attack that is known as botnet. But before we begin, if you love watching tech videos, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon never to miss an update. To begin with, let's take a look at some of the famous botnet attacks. The first one is Mirai Botnet, which is a malicious program designed to attack vulnerable IoT devices and infect them to form a network of bots. That on command perform basic and medium level denial of service attacks. Then we have the Zeus bot, specifically designed for attacking the system for bank related information and data. Now let's take a look at the agenda for today's video. Firstly, we'll understand what is a botnet. Then we'll see how exactly a botnet works. After that, we'll learn some of the architectures how a botnet works on. In the end, we learn how to protect ourselves from botnet attacks. Now let's see what exactly a botnet is. Botnet refers to a network of hijacked interconnected devices that are installed with malicious codes known as malware. Each of these infected devices are known as bots and a hijacked criminal known as bot hoarder remotely controls them. The bots are used to automate large scale attacks including data theft, server failure, malware propagation and denial of service attacks. Now that we know what exactly a botnet is, let's dive deeper into learning how a botnet works. During the preparation of a botnet network, the first step involves preparing the botnet army. After that, the connection between the botnet army and the control server is established. In the end, the launching of the attack is done by the bot herder. Let's understand through an illustration. Firstly, we have a bot herder that initiates the attack. According to the control server commands, the devices that are infected with the malware programs and begins to attack the infected system. Let's see some details regarding the preparation of the botnet army. The first step is known as the prepping the botnet army. The first step is creating a botnet is to infect as many as connected devices as possible. This ensures that there are enough bots to carry out the attack. This way it creates bots either by exploiting the security gaps in the software or websites or using phishing attacks. They are often deployed through Trojan horses. For the next step we have establishing the connection. Once it hacks the device, as per previous step, it infects it with the specific malware that connects the device back to the control bot server. A bot herder uses command programming to drive the bot's actions. And the last step is known as launching the attack. Once infected, a bot allows access to admin level operation like gathering and stealing of data, reading and rewriting the system data, monitoring user activities, performing denial of service attacks, including other cyber crimes. Now let's take a look at the botnet architecture. The first type is known as client server model. The client server model is a traditional model that operates with the help of a command and control center server and communication protocols like IRC. When the bot order issues a command to the server, it is then relayed to the client to perform malicious actions. Then we have peer-to-peer -peer model. Peer controlling the infected bots involves a peer-to-peer -peer network that relies on a decentralized approach. That is, the bots are topological interconnected and act as both CNC servers, that is the server and the client. To the hackers, Adopt this approach to avoid detection and single point failure. In the end, we will see some points on some countermeasure against botnet attacks. The first step is to have updated drivers and system updates. After that, we should avoid clicking random pop ups or links that we often see on the internet. And lastly, having certified antivirus, anti spyware softwares and firewall installed into a system will protect against malware attack. With this, we have reached the end of the video. If you have any questions regarding the topic, you can ask them on the comment section. Thank you. 
Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.